Divine Feminine. All right, this is for women only. Welcome into the Cross Watchers. I'm pulled to do a love reading for you guys. I know it's been a minute since we got and did um, your combination, the Divine Masculine Men and Divine Feminine Women Only reading, right? But And I'm pulled to do it, so let's get it done. Let's see what is going on with you guys, all right? These are general, only take what is for you and leave what is not, okay? Um, make sure that you are subscribed to your Aries Only Placements, love, tarot, that's right. Um, I heard my ancestors say Aries. Actually, I heard them say it a couple times. Um, and when I was over there, they said it and it clicked. I said, oh my gosh, Aries. I never looked at it like that. So, you know, as they continue to teach me, I will continue to speak on what I know and what I'm feeling, what they're giving me, what they're hearing me. Those are all, you know, that's what I do. That's what we come here for. So it's like that. So Aries, only placements, love, tarot, anywhere Aries is in your chart. You are your person. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome over there as well. Okay. Now, Divine Feminine. Come on in. Let me take a look at you. Okay, guys, if you are cross-watching for your Divine Feminine, you are welcome to do the same. It's all love, okay? And I will always keep it real, okay? So, you guys know, all right? So, let's see what is going on with you, Divine Feminine, all right? Almighty beautiful universe and holy spirit messages for the Divine Feminine women only. We will be... um doing some things all right there's some other new things they have me doing all right and um you guys will see okay i'm very excited about it all right so we'll see all right some things is going on or should i say added as well so let's see what is going on what do you need to know? This is for the Divine Feminine Women Only. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node Energy, Third Party Energy, Guys, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh, thank you. Okay, y'all. Oh, some of you guys, you got a lot of the people that got their eyes on you that wants to come towards you. Is also when I'm getting beads is in community, and we got the hangman. All right. Um. Someone here uh, likes you. I don't know who this is for. That's the truth. Okay, Ace of Swords. Uh, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aqua area. And this is an airbender here. Um, now, for some of you guys, a new person, you're about to meet somebody new. So this reading could be about you meeting somebody new. Now, for others of you guys, somebody here is putting distance. They're moving on. They want a new start. They could feel like, oh, yeah. They could feel like you're still holding on to something. The hangman and the five of cups. Um, yeah, the four of swords and the hermit. Someone here could still, to be honest with you, this is somebody here that, someone here could have ghosted you already. Or you, or or this is how this person is seeing you. This is the energy here. One more card, please. Ace of Cups. Damn. All right, we're pulled to the Animal Night Tarot, so we are going to connect to the animal realm during these messages. Someone here, I, I keep hearing something, and I gotta say it. They could feel like you know you're stuck on something, or like if this is vice versa, it's vice versa. You're stuck on something. They moved on. For some of you guys, somebody here that moved on twice. There's two new beginnings, two new people here. There's also gonna be a water bender, Cancerian, uh, Piscean, and Scorpion. Someone here, uh, you know, reflected on something. There's something that somebody can't get over. Okay, uh, here, Gemini and Aries energy here. So something like that, okay? And this could be why they just decided to uh, go to you. Also, someone here uh, um, looked into something. <sighs> All right. There is a truth here. Someone also could feel like they know how you truly feel about them. Someone here feels like that you're stuck on them or some shit like that. 
Now, this is the thing. Either you got two new people coming in or this person got had two other connections. They feel like you stuck on, on, on them. Somebody feels like you're on them or you're stuck on them or some shit like that is here that you're really sad you're missing them. Somebody here is like, I don't know what's going on here. But the truth is here. So the truth is y'all both realize the truth, a sword in here. It's like I want to cut somebody the fuck out right now. Let me hit the damn button. This shit puts to help me encourage you uh, and shit like damn that. Damn it. Uh, this person, you know, moms or uh, um is about transformation. Also, they just said something about a moth to a flame. So yeah, they feel like you like you're like yeah, endings, mystery, something is, is something here is is like here somebody here feels i i don't know like you're you you could have tried to get them stuck or some shit like that this could be mentally or emotionally hold on let me get the wand child because this person is getting on my nerve and they could have moved on uh, there's distance between y'all they've been somebody here feels like they've been moved on from this and you're still there you're still stuck on this like it's like what are you like somebody here i don't know Somebody here could, it, this could be a situation, um, a fight that happened between both of you guys, or this is a situation at hand. It's like, you know, if this is a fight or some shit like that, because that's what I'm kind of getting. Somebody's like, man, move on. Let's get over this fight. Let's get over this spat. You're still there. You're still stuck on that. Someone here could look at you like you hold on grudges. And they figured this out. Okay, the Herman here is spider energy. This is about deceit here. Um, also, what I'm getting, guys, sorry if it's out in the background. And we got the porcupine energy. This is about being cautious. Yeah. Someone here could feel like, I, I, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like someone here feels like you're on a jock. Now, that's an old school term for me. We used to say that when, um, we were young, like you're on them, like you you ain't move on, like you. It's like this person is getting on my nerves. Somebody here is like extremely arrogant and cocky. Yeah, chapter three is sword down, and this is somebody here um, that could have uh, reflected something like this in the community because bees represent community. So they could have told people this. Well, Porky Pam being like uh, represents humility. Hold on, y'all. So this is this is Perky Pan energy. Okay, so it's like this is the shit they're on. They feel like you are really like, oh my gosh, this person is yeah, like you're swole or some shit like that. I feel like this is what this person could have started out, but it's just shit didn't change because there's two new beginnings. It's like, because this porcupine is hat and a sword, and we're going to find out what that is. So it's like, this is this could have been what they could have thought, and they found out it was something different. Yeah, they could have found out, they could have gotten other information that you were actually talking to somebody else. Shit. <laughs> What, what somebody here tried to play you, honey, or they thought they was playing you. You could have let them think that. This could have been like a couple weeks. To a couple months with the cups being here. When they figured out that that wasn't it. I feel like you flip and you you flip you flip something here at the end. And they got the message with the bird energy being there. Okay. Um, it's like, I feel like with the pot, this person is stuck. I feel like they can't, this is what I'm getting. They, they were trying to, 
make it seem like it's you. Maybe you were at one point in time. I feel like that's why I'm struggling with it because it's like it's flipped now. But I've got to be honest with you. At one point in time, this person knew they had you or they felt like they did. I like your style because you like you when I'm on you, I'm on you. Let's hit the button, child. Hold on. Come on, button. Come through. When I'm on you, I'm on you. But when I'm off you, I'm the fuck off you. So someone here, when you was on this person, they was being arrogant, cocky about it. They was telling people they could have been saying this shit to they. This could be friends. Oh, they was on me. Oh, or this is a girl. Oh, he was on me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This is, they just corrected me. That's right. This is the woman's only reading. No, this is your fucking person. Why am I feeling now they're in regret? Yeah. <laughs> Someone here has already made this seem. It's this is what the and the fact that you could be proving this person wrong, I feel like they are only coming back to sabotage your new beginning because to make you go back to this would make them feel great. Someone here knows what it's like when the lights are on and when the lights is off. It's like clap on, clap off. <laughs> this person. I hate to say it like that. I'm sorry, but this shit is like, wait. And it's like, and you could be like, oh, okay, well, at one point in time, I was on them. You could have even said this or something. Like, oh, yeah, I was, but I'm not no more. <laughs> I'm cool now. <laughs> I got a new beginning. You know, I'm on some new shit now. But yeah, you know, I was trying to make that my boo. Now somebody here, that's not the response. This is not the outcome. This is not what this person wanted, Divine Feminine. My women, Divine Feminine. I got to be honest. And now this person feels some kind of way. And this person could want to come back because they want to prove you wrong, but it's really, they want to prove their self wrong. This is somebody here that is dealing with an ego death. I won't be surprised if the peacock energy come out. Mm -hmm. And this person was fucking with other people. And that, it, and look, yeah, and that turned out to be a goddamn tower. Yeah, they were. Mm. Okay, let's get your angel number and get a little deeper in this. The Vav Feminine, I just want to let you know, you shut some shit down for somebody. And they're having a hard time. It's like this person's reality changed with you just owning your truth. And it's like, yeah, I was on you. Oh, yeah, I mean, I did want you. That is the truth. I was on it. Honey, I wanted it bad. Oh, I was going, mm. But you know what? It's all right. I'm cool. And I just wish you the best in happiness or something like that is here. I, and that this has like changed everything in this person's world. It could have made them bury themselves somewhere. The fact that you are in this energy, it's um it's like fucking them up. I got to be honest with you. Um you know, now they're in this possum hangman as well, where they're thinking of, you know, somebody here is now really thinking about like, it's like they, they got a love, this is a love hate reading, period. This person loves you and hates you. I'm going to tell you what is happening. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this person. This person hates to love you. Damn, y'all. Divine Feminine, you feel like green today, day, baby? I know. I do, too. All right. Let's get this angel number. We're going to get a little deeper. Woo! We got five, four. There's been single digits angel numbers in these readings. I'm sorry, two digits. The ancestors have been cussing me out lately, child. Damn it. Okay. Mm, we got lotus flower with the cup here. Birds are messengers. Yeah, the ancestors is involved in here. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Spiritual hip customer, spiritual verb. Some of you guys that are spiritual, you already know what that is. You could have went through a transformation as well. This person is seeing this truth. This is a new. They this you this is whatever you're on. You own your fucking truth in a way. That this person hates, but it's also beautiful. 
I don't know if this makes sense. And it's like they hate to love you. I'm seeing that bat and it, and that they never showed me in the moth, which both represents death and transformation. This could be also someone here that is stuck on how you used to do things. And they know that you are, you're not that. This is also someone here that's like, damn, now that you're in this energy, I wonder what it would be. I wonder, like, when you're stuck on somebody else, what is that like? Like, they are thinking about how you are with other people, all right? Or how would other people perceive you, have you, um even on this level, because the, the the truth is also that this person experienced you when you could have been on a more lower vibration or frequency. And now they wonder, now that you're in this energy, it's like, wow, and what would it be like? I wonder, like, how you are. They they could be thinking about how you are with somebody else, how you um could be on them, what y'all could be doing, what that could be like. Someone here is missing out on you. It's like they hate to love you. They can't help it. Let's get this angel number, baby, because this is some tea right here. Okay, guys, angel number 54. This is what's going on. Stop trying to control everything. Your angels are asking you to stop trying to control everything and focus on the things you have control over. And that's what you've been doing. And it's beautiful. Someone here missed out in the beauty in you. It's like they thought they was going to tear you down with this shit. Oh, you on? Oh, yeah, you, they was on me. I had them like this, this and that. Boom, boom, boom. And that was supposed to make you feel, I don't know, or they thought they had one up on you. Okay, that's what we say in my hood. I don't know what they say in the hood. But you know what I mean by that, baby. Okay? And now it's flipped. And you like, oh, yeah, that's crazy because I was really, I, I, yeah, yep, I did. I liked you. You know, or yeah, I was on. I really, I was going. I was, I was going, going, but you know, it didn't work out. So, uh, time for a new start. You didn't meant to. For some of you guys, you got two other people interested in you, or you about to meet two other people. This person could have moved on too. Child, this is some damn tea. Hold up, child. What is the hangman? Because I want to know what the enlightenment's about. What's going on? Oh shit. The seven of cups. They're stuck thinking about you. Nine of cups. Child, they are... I'm telling you, this person is fantasizing and everything. I can't make this shit up. Look at this animal in reverse. This is my clarity card in reverse. I told you, their clarity wasn't clear. Now someone is, has a clear vision of the truth. Look at this. That's the four swords. I can't make it up. Ten of swords. Now they want to work together with you. Even, like, the fact that you could kind of, like, stand up there and be with on this, you know, <laughs> this person. There's somebody here is like, why did I do this now? This, nobody has never, this person has never been of any kind of energy like yours that has ever did this to their ass. They are, like, stunned, shunned. It's like, I they can't, like, reality is hard right now for, some, like, this person. What's the four swords? Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah! The queen of pentacles, I'm telling you. Now they, now, they want a fucking relationship. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, yo. Yeah, that's all they think about. And now they're stuck. And now they're, they, they're this person is slowly coming towards you. Damn. Yeah. Because they know you didn't let their ass out in the cold and you are, like, accepting another offer. Or you're going to leave them out in the cold with the king of pentacles. You're going to attract somebody here. That's a ten of cups. And then here they ass come, king of wands. Child, wait a minute, man. Oh, my gosh. It's like... And for some of you guys, you went through four transformations. Uh, th look at this, the Ten of Cups. It's like, you know, um, yeah, they wanted me. I had them like this. I had them like that. I was going on. You like, child, you didn't, 
somebody here can't believe you right now. And you like, oh yeah, yeah, we was, it was good too, or something. I've got to be honest with y'all. And I'm trying to say this because I'm hearing it, but I still got to deliver the message and make sure we're safe on YouTube. And you could have been, you know, yeah, like, I did want them. I was one child, yep. <laughs> but you know, and they cannot believe you did that. It's like you were not supposed, you were supposed to be hurt. They thought you, this was going to make you, was you were supposed to, you didn't play along in somebody's game. What's the five of cups? They're so, whoa. Damn. Yup, the six is so, <laughs> they're small because you moved on. I told you the ancestors are speaking to you. You already knew about this. Seven of ones, you could have even, you blocked them. This person could have tried to call you or reach out and you blocked them or some shit. Or come towards you. It is an energetic block. Yeah, because you've been healing. Page of Cups. And then some of you guys, you you could be on some, yeah, honey. Because, you know, how I used to be. You know, but I had to grow up and I just learned to let you go. So I just, you know, whatever. But, you know, we could have been some. I mean, I was open to them. <laughs> And this person's, somebody here is like, mouth is on the floor. It's like, what? Now, we got to check. This is going to be a long ass reading, Divine Feminine, because I got to look into these other two people here, too, that you are doing. What's the hermit? Or about to meet or something like that. What's the hermit here? Oh, damn. Damn, the five of cups. They're swole. This person is, is hiding that they're swole. Chariot. They really, that's the chariot. This They're hiding the fact that they're swollen. They really want to come towards you. And for some of you guys, this is somebody, this person could have ghosted you. However that is. Yep, nine of pentacles. They did. And, um, you know, that was a form of betrayal. There could be other betrayal that this person has did. Yep. I told you. Rumors. Gossip. And it was talking shit. But see, you know what, this is what, it, oh my gosh, they just told me something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you so much. Thank you. They just told me something, y'all. And some of you guys heard this. You own your truth. That way nobody can't take it and no one has power over it. And, you know, own it. I know you, you guys have heard this in different ways. I'm trying to, like, uh, so you know when somebody here, if it's the truth, own that shit. Yeah, okay. I was into this. Yeah, I own it. Like I was on them, but I'm not. Yeah, but you know, it didn't work out. It. I had to move on. I had to do me, and yeah, I got. I had. I had like this. Now, let me tell you what's going on. It. And now that you own it, you took your power back. Own your truth, so nobody else can tell your story. We all been hurt. Shit. We all go through shit. So the fuck what. And that alone made you like 20 times more attractive to this person. Because some people think, you know, this could be a divine masculine, but it doesn't mean that it's your exact divine masculine. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. It doesn't make, you know, um, because this could be, like, right now, I'm reading for, like, a karmic divine masculine. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, the energy has changed. I hope I broke that down right. I hope that made sense, guys. All right. Let's keep, let's keep, let's, let's, let's keep this up. Because I need to see what's going on here, child. All right. So, like I said, this is why you're getting two new cycles in. Or two new opportunities for a connection. Because this person had the opportunity and their opportunity was to get to, I keep hearing one up on you, brag or some shit like that. Or, you know, this could be, you know, them boosting their um, ego, their energy, something like that. <sighs> what's the, uh, what's the, um, I want to see what the chariot. What's the chariot? The devil in reverse. You detach from this person. I'm getting this is you. Yup, ten of wands. It, it you detached. Seven of swords. Okay, because you already felt this from this person. And this is somebody. Yup, you already knew that was a knight, and you already knew that was gonna break your heart. So you owned your truth. 
They could have been like, damn, I had them like this, I had them like that. They was really going to fall for me. They, I really had this person or however this person was breaking to their, fin their friends and you could agree like, yeah, yep, you almost had me. Like, you really had me. I really was into you. Like, so, like take it what level it is is what I'm, get what I'm getting here. Oh my gosh, what's the world card? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the truth. The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords and Resilience. Now this person is man, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the King of Cups. Now they're in their feelings because they realize that you really, de you detached. <laughs> you caught judgment. <laughs> Temperance. It's like, okay, so what? Who gives a fuck? Now, let me talk about the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups because that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this person is like, so they did all that, all that energy and got nothing out of it. Now they see you in a whole new energy and it's like, it's sexy on you or something like that. I don't know. It's like something like that. Let me get another deck, child. Oh my gosh. Let's get into this Ace of Swords. Hold on. Now that chat. Okay. So let's see what else is going on here. With this person, child, we're gonna be this reading gonna be like three hours long, child, because I got to see all this over here. What's going on? Y'all know how we get down here. Yep, tower, child. This is a big ass tower. Queen of Pentacles. You keep coming out as a damn Queen of Pentacles. This person feel like they should have kept your ass, and they've been getting major enlightenment every time they ask go to sleep. This is somebody that already had like three, four dreams about your ass. Yep, high honor. They got you in high honor. You bossed up on somebody, and now their ass is stuck. Let's see what this person want to say to you, honey. Let's see. I don't know. This is great. This is outrageous. They really tried it. Okay, let's see. What does this person want to say to you? Mm -mm -mm. This person is swole. If I could go back into time, I would handle us differently. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh, child, they swole. Y'all, I hope I I hope I broke it down. Look, this this love is crazy. This person is in love with you. Will this ever change? And some of you guys, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Own your truth, take it as a lesson, own your shit so you can move on. Not only did it open up two new cycles for you, but it's also bringing this person a new attraction to you. Now they see you in a whole new light, new light and they're realizing that they're a dumbass. Oh, man. Um, I just want to see this person's um, expressions towards you. What's this? Yep. Forbidden love. Oh, denial. Now this person, somebody, this person's in denial. Somebody here is wishing they never fucking met your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because that's not funny, but it's like they didn't want... I feel like somebody met their match. And it's you. Yeah. So this person became a karmic divine masculine. And some other readers will also... Yep. Yeah, this is your confirmation. Will also say that this person is no longer... This is not a divine masculine. Or something like that, but they ask, which they, they would woo, but you got two new cycles, so we gonna keep it moving. Shit, some of you guys had, had to cry, you had to purge, you like damn that shit hurting because I really wanted that person. Uh, all right, let me just express it is like what you, shit uh, but because you owned your truth. This is crazy, damn. Yep. Mm -mm. So we got legal court paperwork filed, racing and avoiding. So some of you guys, drama. This person wants to cause drama. They trying to figure out a way. Somebody here could be trying to figure out a way to take you to court. This could be about a car. Because you have cleansed yourself from this in person. So they're trying to find out ways. Now for others of you guys, this could be somebody here taking you spiritually to court. Okay, for causing some kind of drama. Child, this person is... Yep, child. Moving physical location and change. Because you moved on. 
Now, they could be also trying to, like, take you to court about a house, something in the house, or something. It's like being petty, and they really just want to see you again, negotiate and beg you. Child, I'm done. Oh, my gosh. Divine Masculine. Here his ass go. But this is a karmic Divine Masculine now. It's not... That's what I'm getting. I hope I'm breaking this shit down right. I just want to see uh, this person's um, expression towards you. Hell, this is crazy. The witches. Yeah, there's talk. They was talking shit. This is the gossip card. They was talking that shit. Like, they, they, they had you. And the crazy part is, they did. And you owned it. And moved on. And that together is a recipe for disaster with this person. We got time stamp. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, so for some of you guys, this person was thinking, take it back, honey. Somebody here wants to jump back into town. Look, because they feel like now y'all got unfinished business. Now they want you. Now this person really wants you. Yep, they want to heal this. Bandages. Get out of here. Um, The last laugh, sexual healing. Yep, this is it. You got the last laugh. You end up having a last laugh. Look at this. And I told you they've been dreaming of you. Child, they can't stop thinking about you, child. Now, let's get into these two new people, okay? Let's jump into this real quick. They're pulling me to this deck. Let's see. What is the Ace of Swords? Who is the Ace of Swords? And what is the Ace of Swords? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Something about white tulips. Is that like your favorite flower, maybe? Okay. Oh, you could have just seen that? Faded. So everything here, the truth, this was supposed to happen. It had to happen like this. These are also, uh, this is this Ace of Swords is a soulmate. Yep, Page of Cups, and we got the Nine of Swords. So this is someone here that's going to make you nervous. This is someone here that's going to push you to the edge. Okay, this person also I'm getting makes you feel alive. You'll get butterflies before you see this person, feel this person nervous, making sure. Oh, this is cute, y'all. Yeah, this person makes you feel like a kid again. Now, for some of you guys, hold the fuck up. You're going to get all of that. And for some of you, oh, man, I don't know. Child, what is going on in this reading? Oh, divine feminine. Damn. Let's hit the button, child, because I, I don't even know how to say that. Now, for some of you guys, y'all going to have a child with this person. It's fated to happen. I'm also getting one of your ancestors is coming through this person. You know, that's also another way they come back. That's a, that's a, This is going to be long enough today, so I can't. Yep, with the death card. Now, for some of you guys, uh, this is going to end after this child comes. Because there's something that you're going to... Oh, shit. This person here could show you a different side. You might not know how selfish this person is, even with money. Yeah. Mm -mm. And it's something that's going to make you realize that you were confused about when it comes to this person. Yeah, once you become the Queen of Cups. Damn. Strength in the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Now, for some of you guys, friends and family is going... It, could help you, all right, or help you figure this person out. Now, this Ace of Swords then pissed me off a little bit. Um, show me something else on the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, what's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords for the collective? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Mind invasion. They play fucking mind games. But for some of you guys, you know, you're going to be so into it. You know how you're so into someone at the time. And, you know, everybody's great at the beginning. But this is a true soulmate. You feel like it's faded. It's because it is. Mm -hmm. With the little fortune here. Also, time reveals everything. And when the baby makes it even more real. And you're going to realize, yeah, that this person, no, this person here, somebody here, not only do they cheat, but they know how to cheat. You know, those are two different things. Because there's people like, that cheat and always get caught. Off. Do you understand what I'm saying? But on my channel, a lot of you guys are, what level of your intuition on um, is all different. Some of you guys are empaths. And you always figure it out. Yep. And you're going to walk away. You're like free to go. 
Damn. And then here they come. <laughs> Point and back. And for some of you guys, they're going to try to do spell work. This could also be uh, manipulation, okay? Uh, energetic, uh, verbally, mentally, because they like to play mad games. This is mental. They like to play mad games. Other than you guys, you don't know this person in the spell work, some shit like that. Yep, but you got to... I told you. Impacts, gut feeling, your feelings, your intuition is fucking boom. Now, if you on my channel, you already know you're a twin flame and or a soulmate or you have encountered with that person. Child, let's get a written message from this person. Hold on. They're showing me my other deck here. Damn, y'all. We pulling out the decks tonight. Wow, sad. Run away. And once you realize this, you're going to run away from this person. But the thing is, for some of you guys... Page of Cups represent a child. For others, you guys could be someone here that wants to, that's going to want to apologize. What is this person going to say? Damn. Some of you guys could be, uh, you you have your afro in. This person's third eye is wide the fuck open. Wide open. Yeah, someone here wants to hug you and then they go lower until they feel your ass too. It's on. My dreams. Look at this. It's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. This month, y'all, child, this person got some shit with them. You're mysterious. They can't figure you out. Or they want to try to figure it, like, figure. This, I feel like this, per this person plays games. This is the thing. Both of you guys, like, you're an empath. And you know, this is like food. I don't want to call this person a narcissist. But they could have narcissism-like behaviors. I might have just made that. That was hard. That sounded real good when I just said that shit. But for real. Narcissism-like behaviors. I'm going to keep that for a while. You're special. Yeah. Because, you know, narcissism. Narcissist. is a, a strong title. And I don't like the name call. But I am going to call it what I see it. So it, for some of you guys, I mean, to be honest with you, yes, this person could be. Others of you guys, this is narcissism-like behavior. Because I get like... <laughs> yeah, we, this person could have mother wounds and they want attention from others. Yeah... They could, that's what I'm saying. Now, sir, narcissists, to me, refuse to heal. And it could be caused from mother, mother rooms or father rooms. But narcissism-like behaviors, to me, they will heal. But it takes the right person. Now, the thing is, when the right person, for some of you guys, you are the right person. But it doesn't make it any less or more the fact that you will still walk away. But the fact that... You help transform this person still. Now, for some of you guys, you you know this from your exes. Okay, you could have still helped your exes transform, but you won't never fuck with them again. You could have taught them valuable lessons as you too, right? Yeah, because, uh-uh. See, that's what I'm saying, gaslighting. Now, this person plays a lot of mind, of mind games. Now, for some of you guys, like I said, this could be a straight-up narcissist, just point blank period like that for other you Others of you, they have narcissism, narcissism what, how do I put that? Narcissism-like behaviors. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is, this is how it goes. Mm, with this person here. Okay, well, now we got to dig into this Ace of Cups ass. Let's see. I'm being pulled to this deck. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, Ace of Cups. This person moves on fast. This is somebody here that could have uh, jumped from another relationship, so you know. Yeah. This person heals when they move on. We have the full court, the emperor, and the knight of wands. So you know. I mean, I'm just saying. Some people are like that. You will also hear other people say the quickest way to move on from another person is to get under somebody else. So that might be something you just need to um, 
keep note of. Oh, what's this? Yep, Nine of Pentacles. This person just got out of, uh, got out of a relationship. Okay, so this is someone here that might have just got out of something not that long ago. So you know that. Yep, the full card in the Six of Pentacles. So there's, they could still have some strings attached to this person or some kind of secrets. All right. That uh, they don't want you. Yep. Five of swords to the five of pentacles to the lover's court and the devil. Yep. That they don't want you to know about. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. This is somebody here that just um, had sex with this person. Um, For some of you guys. With the swords and pentacles, this could be like five weeks to five months energy. Yeah. And this is somebody, oh no, uh-uh, see. Ah! Uh, they, they still have, see, that two of cups contract four ones and a page of coins. This could be a star seed or you could be. But this is somebody, they feel like you guys are soulmates. Or they could know that you guys are soulmates, but they just got out of a situation. Yep, and they're not going to tell you. I told you, uh-uh. The emperor, the knight of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the king of cups. And the queen of cups. I told you. They just got a goddamn relationship. Now, this person here, they didn't have nobody. Okay, you know, they might have caught it quick and it was, you know, you know, sometimes you still uh, keep a doorway open. This could have been just sex with an ex, you know, but they're not together or their ex babies, mom, baby, you know, or some shit like that. I'm going to say baby's mom because it's the one was only reading. Um, So, yes, baby's mom. But it's like they like you and they want this to work. So they will. So, yeah. So what I'm getting is, you know, th they're not going to, this, this will piss you off because it's a red flag. Like, what you just, this person, like a couple months ago, that's your baby. So y'all still fucking is the energy. But see, yeah, uh-uh. They will, they are willing to, like, walk away from that death card. That's what I'm getting. This person is willing to walk, work with you, but you the, the truth might bother you. The fact that they were still... And this is somebody here. It looks like they also, with the uh, Knight of Pentacles... Um, I got to be honest. This is someone here, you know... Damn. They might have not have really wanted to have sex with their baby's mom. Uh, damn it. But it was convenient sex. I just got to be honest. Oh my gosh, this is T T T 4242 on a timer. Wow, let's get some um love oracles, child. I don't know. What's the love oracle messages here? Okay, hold on, y'all. Let's see. Is it this deck? Yeah. Okay, let me see how this person um what else is going on here with this person? Oh, yep. Mm -mm. Dread. Soon as they meet you, they're going to cut this other person off, or their baby's mom is going to be like a drastic cut off. Yep, I told you. I cannot make this shit up. Y'all are soulmates. Yep, and they they're going to chase you down. Yeah, but you're protect. For, I told you, children. Now, for some of you guys, you might need to protect yourself because I'm getting, yeah. When this other person found out about, you know, you, they're going to know about this person's behavior because they know this person. So they could, they want to feel it because it's going to be like a straight up cut off period is what I'm getting. It's like they meet you and they're just going to just completely cut the cord. But that's the problem. And that is what is going is going to bring the toxicity with the devil cord. Because they should have just did that. But to be honest, they wanted some. And they knew their baby's uh, mom was going to give it to them. And they went and got it. Oh, child, we got cards just flying out everywhere. What else is here? What is this? 
yep, this mature man, this emperor. This person is coming out as emperor. This For some of you guys, this could be somebody older. Yep, mm -mm. they were. And then they met you. And this is somebody here um, that they were dating. Yep, uh -uh, but they like you. They know you guys are soulmates. And they're going to leave this shit in behind. And then that's what brings in the, like, toxicity or whatever the hell's going on here. Let's see what this person want to say to you, honey. Mm. Ooh, y'all is hot tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all felt like reading tonight. All right, I'm seeing this deck, guys. Hold on, let me get it out because I don't feel like pausing it. Let's see. All right, what did this person want to say? person want to say what does this person over here want to say oh. be adaptive and receptive to lead or love to divine growth yep mm -mm. this person wants you they're gonna cut everything off everybody off for you endings bring might bring better beginnings yep they are they're going to cut this situation off for you but to be honest this is something, you know, that was, I got to say it, they, it was convenient. It was convenient sex. Maybe um, wearing a mask in our relationship to make this look more perfect. And that's what they're going to hide. So, now, in my opinion, this is the energy that is here. So, I'm just going to say, in my opinion, okay, guys. I don't think that it is worth uh, you falling back from this person. I will possibly, I mean, it is a rig flag, but I'm being honest, we're human, you know? We're, we're, you know, some of us do have human sides, okay? <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean by that. We, we are still human. Um, and it's like, okay, I feel like, you know, if this person is really willing to cut the strings off and make this work because they know y'all soulmates, they know it, they feel it, work with this person. All right, you cutting it off. It's me and you, you know, y'all just met. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? But I will keep it close. Ab, make sure. Yeah. That's your confirmation. Make sure. All right. Because this uh baby's mama situation feels like they know this person. So that also means they know their weaknesses, the devils here, their temptations. This is in reverse. The metaphor of love, flirt, and seduct seduction. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody here is going to cut somebody off. We got forced marriage, eager here. We have fatherly controlling fear and reconcile. This ex is going to want to reconcile, but you got uh, other energies here. Also, what I'm getting for some of you guys, you this is you standing in your truth. Then you meet in uh, this airbender. Jimin and Libra in the Aqua area, and there go your confirmation, and you own loving yourself enough to let this person go. And for some of you guys, you might even have a child before you do that. And then it brings in your true fucking person, like what you were looking for this whole time. So this is two lessons here for some of you guys that you want to have to learn. For others of you guys, you might resonate with just one of these stories here, but I'm getting three energies for you. Mm. Well, all right, that's what it is, you know, let's get some um, letters for you guys. Oh, we got N, we got J, someone here could be from New Jersey, City, mm -hmm. we got C, North Carolina, East Side. Of North Carolina or um, New Jersey for some of you guys. And we got third eye shock. Right? Yeah, some of you guys are very intuitive. You're star seeds. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get an oracle for you. Guardian and regeneration. All right. You know, that's crazy because I keep fixing this deck, but for some reason, they keep flipping the cards like this, so I'm keeping it like, yep, they do. <laughs> that's universal confirmation. Ding, ding. All right. Well, I'm keeping it like this. 
All right. Oh, good luck. Okay, yeah, the ancestors are here protecting you. Also, we saw Archangel Michael. Ladybug, good luck. You got good luck. Yep, and abundance coming in because of the way you are healing and you're showing the universe you're ready for this. Yep, I told you, you're very intuitive right now, Divine Feminine. And I'm very proud of you. Because if this was this easy, everybody would fucking do it. Inner knowing. No, you are extremely. Some of you guys, yeah. And there's different empaths, life workers. You guys already know that. I speak about that all the time. What level you're on is going to be different for everybody. Okay? So what we're going to need to do is shave this right here. Just a little bit, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> We got to get that down. Okay, guys, you know, we got to have a good little kiki. All right. I know, I know, I know you ain't been, okay, we ain't got time for this. This is crazy. You had to get your shit together, get things in order. You ain't, okay, cool. But we got to, you know, cut the grass because we got, you know, some new energy coming in for you guys. Okay. So this might be, you know, you do your grooming, shaving your legs, you know, the things that you would do when you are attracting or when you want to attract you should already um start doing it now okay because it does bring that's manifesting right and you know stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready all right divine feminine let's get you some signs and planets Woo, child all right some of you guys are going to see a ladybug that's your ancestors okay oh my god for some of you guys this is a child too you might have just seen a ladybug also, this could be an uh, orange ladybug. You know, ladybugs has different. Sometimes them look orange or red. This could be a uh, ladybug that has a lot of orange in it. I don't know why I'm getting a dead ladybug. But I am. All right. Almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits. What is this size? In a Thank you. Invitation. We have, yep, communication coming in the 12th house, Piscean. So, uh, airbenders, okay? We have Gemini and Piscean here, like I said before, and we have Virgo, okay? All right, or your signs here. Someone here is, uh, this ex, the, um, Virgo rules the house of health, is swole about this, honey. Actually, hot climate here. <laughs> so some of you guys been healing you um, realigned your chakras. The sun could have helped you uh, also do this when we had that uh, solar flare, which lifted the climate. That's why the planet, the planet is actually hotter. This is really like a, um, I don't feel like debating right now, so I don't want to say that because then I'm going to have to break down all these things, you know, right? so we'll have to get into that a little later. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's what the solar flares are all about. All right, which you already know, the sun, you know, you've been hearing a lot about this. Okay, so we got you, chow. We got Mars. This person is pissed. This is this person's right here. Mad. And somebody here, baby's mom is pissed about you. So I, what I, I this is what I'm getting. You learned something, and so did this person. And y'all both about to make. These two people mad as this person, baby's mom, and this ex person over here. And I just feel like you're not thinking about this person in here for you guys that are going to resonate with all three of these. Divine Feminist, this was a good read, honey. This was a good read and some good tea for you, honey, honey. It looks like at the end, you you know, your abundance is coming in here, but you're going to have to get through this. Also, right before you get the soulmate, you're going to get spiritually attacked because it's a true soulmate. So you know that. So prepare for that. I love you all, especially you guys. Yeah, especially my um sisters and brothers in the spiritual communities. And it's also because you are gifted. Okay, so anytime you're abundant, new levels, new devils. I love you all. Stay dope. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all. All right. Um, that keeps you tapped in. So when your messages are available and ready for you, you will be notified to get them. I love you all, Divine Feminine. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share in a month.